What's up, guys? It's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar, and we're live on a project. Don't usually do this, but we're going to do it because we have good reception. So this is a probably 10-year-old job, and they're doing a re-roof. Get this rope out of your way here, buddy. Cuidado, que no te caigas. If you guys saw the first re-roof I did a couple of years ago, it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. One thing we're doing here is we're numbering every panel. These are LG 265s. We got in-phase M215s. This is the front roof. And hey, uh, this is a lot of video, so uh, we'll be responding to people as they comment. If you hear me talking to nobody, that's who I'm talking to. So, um, these can be a real battle. One of the things, if you budget these wrong, you're gonna, you're gonna really suffer. So, uh, Here's the first thing you got to deal with on these is you got all stainless hardware. This is Renusol, which is a company that's no longer around. So when you're choosing your solar hardware, try to choose one that's going to be around for longer. This was actually based out of Atlanta, Georgia, which is not far from me. The way this clamp works is it's got a little square bolt that stays captive. But one of the problems with it is it is stainless on stainless. So you have galling. So luckily we can still get some stuff off YouTube. I'm gonna go on up the roof and I'm gonna show you the the worst of the road and damage first. The worst is first. Now you do have to pull all these flashings off and they're quick mount flashings. So they're really terrible to try to get off because it's just a basically a lag bolt on a threaded threaded on one end. So you have to lock two bolts together to back them out. Um, let's go up here and take a look at this rodent damage. Como ve del, del daño de la de la casa de rodencia de la ardilla so this is some perfect example of some rodent damage here this is on the DC side so it's only got about 30 volts on it but this is what happens when you put solar panels in a treed up area that's a nest right there on the J box and this is also a perfect example of a job that was probably put in by a sales driven sales force commission driven sales force that only cares about getting stuff done that's a nice some nice electrical work up here and there's some really nice stuff show you that right there looking real safe 240 volt AC on the roof we're gonna fix it all and put it back there's the other side and I'll be showing you guys more as we go through and fix this thing we're trying to get the conduits up off the roof and support it as best we can and uh, we're not going to come back with the quick mount flashings we're going to be using. Solar roof hook, because we love it. We'll probably rerun the ground and uh, re rehang all the, all the flashings and all the panels. So what do you think about your first solar panel deinstall? Is it everything you dreamed of when you came to this country? Que como ves tu primer Tu, 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 tu primera vez trabajando con solares, todo que soñaste cuando llegar a Estados Unidos? No, no soñaba. You didn't dream of it? Yo venía a agarrar los dólares. Para solo agarrar los dólares, ¿ah? Huh? You don't just came to grab the dinero? Sí, yo venía a agarrar los dólares. Ah, sí, hay que buscar el oro, el minero, ¿ah? Huh? Yeah. So, anyway. There's some more rodent damage right there. Look at that. Some good looking stuff. So, I'm going to go through right now and I'm just going to inspect everything for rodent damage anything that i find that does have rodent damage is uh gonna cost more but we do have to get this roof clean and i need to get a hat on because the sun's out and i'm fair skinned hey dude you want to be on youtube no not really with your fall protection he's the oh yeah i'll, I'll blob that out i don't think they saw you but what about your shirt Anyway, ¿cómo ve? Muy bien. Perfecto. ¿Te gusta hacer trabajo solar? This is the boss. All right, guys, so this is Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar reminding you to think twice before you put solar on a questionable location.